How's it going people? It's Shots Dekhi, this is an old new video and recently I've been uh, getting comments on the video of Epic Games launcher so I thought of creating another video on that and most of all I've been busy working around so wasn't able to release some more videos and we'll be continuing off our outro uh, soon, maybe next videos you come. So that being said, make sure to like and subscribe, let's get started. So really uh, if you're facing errors, there are some more errors being faced in Epic Game Launcher like uh, self update problems and most of all the epic games launchers not opening and else more if you're getting problems like that I'm gonna solve it out today right in the here in this video so how you can do that there are several things that you need to do first of all whenever you're opening your computer or all else stuff make sure that you're logged in as the administrator generally if you're logged in as another user that won't work uh, generally you simply can go off to control panel I'm just with the that doesn't simply go to control panel and from here you can user account and simply click on to user account and you see that's my father's account and it is as an administrator uh, then, then you need to make sure also that you're logged in as an administrator because if you are not then that's gonna cause you further more problems okay so first of all thing that login as an administrator the next thing you want to do is that make sure that you have read write uh, permissions for example if we open up this epic games that's a launcher out here make sure that this folder have read write permission all this whole drive you have read write permissions so just go on right click on it go to properties and for properties you need to go to sharing and go on advanced sharing no no not sharing I should say maybe advanced there might be something like yes here <laughs> I immediately forward just go to security and you see read and execute and all this stuff make sure that you're an administrator for this man that would be my administrator you simply you can click on the administrator and see if you're having full control and if you're not just simply go to advanced change and from here not from here you need to click on administrator and view and make sure that you have full control on this if you're not you won't be able to change it because you are the administrator so that will already give you the full permission in case it, if it is not then there might be further problems you can simply edit and click on for control apply and okay I won't do that because I'm logged in as administrator so that will be work just that's okay so the next thing you want to do is when you come over to your epic games launcher for example this one and if you don't know how I came inside that just simply go to launcher or maybe epic games launcher engine binaries and whatever your windows type is mine is 64 so simply right click on it send to desktop that will create a shortcut you can simply right click and create shortcut out here only and we're gonna rename it or oh, the third image whatever it is then right click on it go to properties and I'm telling you guys again and again in comments all you need to do is to create an open GL option or if you're having problem like please wait you can type in HTTP is equal to that and that's gonna uh, means remove all the problems that you are having for example once you're not completely launching up or else stuff that's gonna remove it up next thing you want to do if your epic games launcher is not working or there are more for the problems like su068 error or maybe errors like uh, update fail pre-request fail to int pre-requests fail to install uh, what you can do is that epic games launcher do have already in build product Christie's if you want to go just simply out here it already provides you with direct registration just simply uh, install the direct SDK we need the SDK environment so simply go head over to Chrome if you're not working perfectly or you can simply go on to launcher and there are several things like you can check off like self update staging but that's something else you need not to focus on right out here you need to search VC that's called visual c++ redistributable or you can simply type in vc++ and there are some things that you need in this so simply i'm gonna open some more tabs i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna paste paste okay so we're gonna type 2013 search and here we're gonna type 2015 and maybe I think I need 2010. 
here are the things that you need to do go head over to microsoft website make sure that you're downloading a version that i'm showing you um 2015 and 2013 okay so for the pull requests you need to make sure that all these libraries of visual c++ redistributable are installed in your computer you get downloaded from Microsoft's website that is we see redistributed 2015, 2010 and 2013. Yeah, so once it's loaded all, you need to make sure that this is redistributable 2013, download, 2015, download and also that's 2010. Uh, then make sure that uh, it matches the architecture of your computer. It, if it is 32, then make sure it's x86, or if it is 64, then make sure that it's x64. And once you're done with that, you need to install all those libraries. And the next thing you want to do is to uh, type in DirectX Runtime uh, Offline Installer, or you can turn on to Online Installer. It's up to you. I generally download Offline Installer so that after some time, if I want to save some things, I can simply direct download it off later or simply install it all later it's going to give you june 2010 you need not to write it just simply install it and after that type in dxsdk and also you need to make sure that you install directx software development kit official from microsoft uh once you do that that's gonna solve up every prerequisites and else issues happening in your pc with epic games launcher uh, so you need to make sure that you clear up the cache before starting off just simply type in temp person temp and person and clear the temporary files that I'm gonna cancel because I don't want to delete the recording correctly I hope that's recording yeah that is um, also you can type in clean MGR and start off scan it delete everything that you get and after all this done make sure to restart your PC and there's few more things you can do for example flushing your DNS cache uh, how you can do that is to simply start off a command prompt maybe type on CMD and other stuff and out here you need to type ipconfig slash flush DNS and press enter this is gonna completely flush the DNS resolver cache for you and completely renew it once that done all you need to do is to restart your pc after doing all the stuff then restart your pc and simply go off and start your epic games launcher and make sure to tell me in comment it does work or not this is for all the subscribers who are asking me about how to fix this so that will be it for today make sure to like and subscribe to Tech. i'm signing out